When you see this icon, pause the presentation and restart when you're ready. The eSCOL National 5 Gaelic Learners course was developed with the help of the following bodies. Mohwaju, my health. As we move into this section of the course, we'll look at a lot of thematic learning. And in this case, we'll be looking at health, talking about illness in the body and the specific ways we talk about that in Gaelic, as well as looking at the verb theme, need or must. So in terms of talking about health, there's the word slaje and the word falling. Now, slaje is a very famous Gaelic word. You'll often hear it used for cheers, and it literally means health, in the same sense that good health, which is actually what slaje va, another thing you'll hear. You'll sometimes hear it just referred to as slanche, but slaje, and you'll also hear slaje vor, and slaje vor, although it means big health, actually is a code used by the Jacobites to say Morag's health, mor, slanje vor. Um, but Morag being a code word for Bonnie Prince Charlie when it was illegal to support the Jacobite kings. Um, but the Gaelic for healthy is falling. Falling and the Gaelic for unhealthy is me alling. Falling and me alling. So in this slide, what we can do is you could ask this question in a talk exercise. A velu is smoonyhug, govelu falling. A velu is smoonyhug, govelu falling. Do you think you are healthy? And as part of our talk exercise, there's some example answers. Ha me smoonyhug, govel me falling. Ha nyel me smoonyhug, govel me falling, gulior. I guess, ha me smoonyhug, govel me karan, me alling. Ha me smoonyhug, govel me karan, me alling. So there's a, a range of different um, ways to answer that question. And moving on to clachgian, looking at a different tense, clachgian, habits, clachgian. A little talk to exercise with this one. Prepare yourself to answer these questions. Mbiu igihe biig falling. Do you eat healthy food? Mbiu igihe biig falling. Mbiu agol galor ushke. Do you drink enough water? Mbiu agol galor ushke. Mbiu ijanib ekersich. Do you do exercise? And be you Janif Ekersi. And be you smokeg. Do you smoke? And be you smokeg. Now, within that, you may want to practice this as a conversation or as a writing piece. But if you look here, here's some questions. So, and be you geek a big falling. B. G and big falling is Charlotte. What's your favourite? A healthy food, or what healthy food do you prefer? GM big falling is Charlat. Is Charlam, I prefer. And be you a gold galor ushke. Do you drink enough water? Genevius do a gold gahua. How much do you drink each day? And be you a janib ekersich. A very simple question to follow that would be Genevius to a janib. What do you do? JV is to Janiv. And after and be you small kick, Jidiv Yach is small kick. What do you think? What's your opinion on smoking? So try and get a partner if you get a chance, go over those questions together and work. Just take some time to prepare some answers to them and practice them and try and say them without notes. But as we move through, we're going to look at Boil Jin Voik. Boil Jin Voik, parts of the body. And if we go through them, you have Strawn. Strawn, Cass, Cass, Troy, Troy. Now, Troy does mean foot, but it tends to only be used for um, height these days. It doesn't get used for Cass, it refers to the leg and the foot. Garstian, Garstian, Sul, Sulan, Sul. Sulan, Kyaun, head, Kyaun, Bale or Beal, Bale, Beal, depending on pronunciation, Fiacal, Fiacon, Fiacal, Fiacon, 
Kluis, Kluisen, Kluis, Kluisen. Wav, Wav. Thorn, Fist, Thorn. Avoch, Avoch. Sometimes avich people will say. Neck or throat. Dream. Dream. Stomach. Stomach. Brew. Brew. Cree. Cree. Torn. Mass. Mein. Mein. Munich, Munich, Skaven, Skaven, Uden, Uden, and Korak or Mir. Now, all the parts of your body are what they say inalienable. We talked about that previously when we looked at members of the family. So when you refer to them, you have to use Mo and Do. You can't say in Kas Akam. That literally means that you have like just a severed leg lying around. What you have to say is you have to say mo. So strong becomes mo ron. And it, they follow the same rules that you looked at with mo and do. So this is a wee revision for you. So what to do is pause this uh, and try and see that you have that all these are mine. Like and see what you got. So once you've done that and make sure remember to pay attention to lenition. Make sure you also remember it's, is it mo or me you're going to use. And once you've done that, unpause it and move on to the next slide. So here we have the Fregerstein for that one. Stron, mohron. Kas, mohas. Avoch, mavoch. Dream, mo grain. Stomach, mo stomach. No, there's no change there. Mo chri, or mo chrie. Mahan, Mabam, Mahan. You can also say that to somebody if they're talking rubbish. Mavas, Mugarshin, Mahulin. Now remember that SH is a silent sign, Mahulin. Mahyaun, Mahyaun. Miaquin, Miaquin, so it unites and becomes a M and Mo. Love, mo, love. I'm talking about love and love. And there's quite a few different ways to talk about um, the various ones. Uh, the bus is, that's why it shows how important bus is your palm of your hand. If it was bus with an accent on the A, it would be death. But bus is your palm. And there are different names and different dialects for the fingers, but an orstak is always the thumb, that means the wee hammer. In skelpach, the chisel. In gunifate, the long gun. Makan abba, the son of the abbot. And the pinky is ludak vik in erikich, the little silver hinge. And as we spoke before, there's korak, mere, or finger. And korakin, miaren, or miaren, or fingers. And you're orstakin if you actually take off your socks, if you like, to, or if you like to learn Gaelic with your with your <laughs> bare feet, you'll maybe notice that your your little toes look like little orstakin, look like thumb, eh, little thumbs. So anyway, kimera how farochin. Now we all know the question kimera how, but this word farochin. How do you feel? Kimmin how is farochke? And if somebody asks you that, it's a bit more, they're talking about your, your an illness. And there's a good range of verbs here, eh, sorry, adjectives here, which allow you to talk about how you feel physically. Gosht, so, gosht. Chain, chain. You also hear people say chain, but chain. Bocht, bocht. Branoch, have me a farrochin, branoch. Nesher, better, nesher. Nasmissa, worse, nasmissa. 
Alnampian in pain, Alnampian. Korstel, comfortable, Korstel. Can you make a in Korstel? I don't feel comfortable. I guess me Korstel, uncomfortable. And Brische, broken. So here's an Eder Hengich. You can pause the slide when you're ready. And um, move on to them. Remember, please bear in mind that some of these are not just about me, uh, some are about him, her. Um, so make sure that you translate them. So just have a go at translating them, and then you'll see the answers on the next slide. And there's the answers. So you pause it, correct yourself, and then move on. Now, G hat kyar orst. What is wrong with you? But in Gaelic, things aren't wrong with you; they are wrong on you. So we're using that orum and orst that we've learned when we've done names and clothes. But what your clothes hand cracked than orum. So disease and illness tend to have the definite article as well. If you think about it in English: the cold, the flu. A vil an cracked than air. Chanel han jejig air. Does he have the cold? No, he has toothache. A vil an cracked than air. Chanel han jejig air. He has the toothache. And here's some examples, Jeha Kyar using this as a way of allowing us to um, revise our prepositional pronouns. Orum, orst, er, ore, orn, oriv, ore. Ha intakris orum. I'm hungry, ha intakris orum. Evelum pag orst. Are you thirsty? Evelum pag orst. Ha inkianilis er. Gumor, he is really homesick. And Kianilis air Gumor. Ha in Jajig Ura. She is toothache. Ha in Jajig Ura. Vakur Namara Orn. We were seasick. Vakur Namara Orn. And the note in Skis Ariv. Were you tired? And the note in Skis Ariv. And be keen rushed or they will have sore heads. Not be keen rushed ach, but be keen rushed or. Nisha, moving on. Talking about being ill, you can say either hamo chion gorst or more traditionally ha chion gorst orum. Never say ha chion gorst akam. This technically means you have a decapitated head in your possession. <laughs> okay. Um, idioms, remember, it's not English you're dealing with. It's not just a code, it's a way, well, it's a different way of thinking and talking. So, ha kyaun gorst or, but you can say hamo kyaun gorst. Here's a list of some uh, illnesses, we'll just run through them once. In chesoch, or nyo in fievris, in krachtan, in uoch. In flu, a grulach, in spooked, genius, gower, kra, and everick he, everick he, chicken pox. Another quick one looking at some coherent symptoms, some coherent. So some of them are here a cassidy. <coughs> A strarsty, a chew, a snotig, a curimach, a jeeverst, vomiting, a jeeverst, a creanig, deteriorating, I'll be if you're really, really on the way out, and then crying, a rani, a ranal, a gal, a ghoul, lots of words in Gaelic for crying. And a cur fallus or a cur fallus ruit, sweating, you're sweating. Oh, a cur fallus. So here's a little Ederhingi one for you. Just read through them, translate them into uh, English, please. And then once you're ready, move on and get them from the next slide. And there's your Fregersten there. So once you moved on, you can move on to the next slide. Theme, need or must. Now, theme 
is one of a small number of what we call defective verbs in Gaelic, and it only exists in two forms, the future and the conditional. There's no past tense, there's no verbal noun, uh, so it only exists in um, a couple of tenses. And all we're going to look at just now is the future tense version. It's used for need or must, and you'll see some of the examples there. So there's the triangle, in fame, fame, chanim, in fame, fame, chanim, and there's a because it's in the future tense, there's of course the relative form as well. Aemus, aemus. So here's some examples. In fame, we fall off. Do you need to go? Fame, we fall off. In draste, I need to go just now. In fame, we Do you need a coat? Chanim, chanil and tushke aun. No, there's no rain. And ye ye miss me erson bal kosha, chanimu ach bal, chanimu ach bal. But you will see femi tu and not femi u. Femi tu. So there's some examples. In femi falov, femi mi falov in draste. In femi kohte, chanim, chanil and tushke aun. And ye ye miss me erson bal kosha, chanimu ach bal. Fain leish. Kach jim fayu leish. Where do you get treatment? So let's look at this as a good way for us to try and learn some places that you would get treatment. Leish. In femu go gan hospital. Do you need to go to the hospital? In femu go gan unid slanje. Do you need to go to the health centre? Unid slanje. In femu go gan tai irijin. The infirmary, tai erijin. That's a quite an obscure word, but you may encounter it. Amphimu rol gan iakor. Do you need to go to the dentist? Amphiakor, the dentist. Fiakor. Amphimu rol gan kungir. Pharmacist. Do you need to go to the pharmacist? Unkungir. The pharmacist. So, Edderhengich, again, here's some more things about where you need to go. Femi, using Femi, and saying about the things you So, if you translate them, move on to the next slide when you're ready. And there's some Fregerston to go with that. And here's a little writing exercise. Kachim Femi, ugo. Where do you need to go? So answer these questions in Gaelic about what you need to do or where you need to go when you suffer from one of these conditions. Now, you may come up with your own answers to this one, but and it wouldn't really matter as long as they're grammatically correct. Um, but if you see here, here's a list of ailments that people have, and hopefully on the next one you'll do some answers that like them. So once you've had a go at that, look at the Fregerston, which are recommended on the next slide. Ha in krach dan orom. Femi tu igal gachi. Go. Vrishmi mo chas. Femi tu igal gan hospital. Tai erijing. So you need to go to the hospital or the infirmary. Ha in jijig orum. Got toothache. Femi tu igal gan iakor. Ha in takris orum. Femi tu icha. Femi tu igal gan kitchen. Femi tu igal gan tai vi. You need to eat or go to the kitchen. Or go to the restaurant. Han kia na la soro. Femi tu igal gachi. You're homesick. You need to go. That word kia na la. Very important concept in Gaelic. Meaning homesickness. Almost more than homesickness though. A longing. A nostalgia for a place. Han mo grain gorst. Femi tu igal gan yunid slanje. You need to go to the health centre. And han skis orum. Femi tu igal gan lepi. You need to go to bed. Now, because femi is a um, future tense verb, it does mean that you you can use it in kind of the habitual present, like femi me igal gan I need to go to the toilet. Okay, but there are other ways of talking about things that you need or must or have to do. So we have beder go. I have to beder go. Sheder go. Sheder go. Ha akamri. Ha akamri. Chaligules. Chaligules. 
ha a ye orum I need ha mi themoch er I am in need of I guess ye mig to that's the conditional tense which we haven't looked at yet but ye mig to you would need to now this is the first time in these lessons that I've tried this so if you're watching the recording back we're going to try an eishjoch exercise so a uh, what to do is I'm going to read this out three times. There's a transcript which will appear when you get the answers. But what I'd like you to do is to um, read the questions. Maybe f pause it. Read the questions for maybe a minute. Then um, you'll have to... best thing to do would be to look at the time stamp now on the video. Record that. That's where you'll need to go back to every time that you um, do it. I would like you to do it three times and give yourself maybe a minute to write up your answers and then you'll get the chance to do it. So what we're going to do is you'll read the questions, um, you'll hear uh, a transcript from um, Callum and Callum will uh, you answer the questions and then look at that in the next slide. But listen to me read this out three times. So if you want to pause it, read the answers then once you're done, listen to me read out the transcript. I hope that's clear. Is Mishu Callum Macaulay? Hami Trichet the Shea Blion the Aguge. Hami a Furoch on the Glasgow. Ach sound a Ush a Tua a Hami. Hami a Smunyak Gavil me Fallin. Or be me a janu more in ekersi. Gach just saharnye, be mishe agas ma ven, erui kor is jay kilometer, be tuv avin choi. Ha sha a kors de groom, or chimi rutten angenoch, agas be me a kumul foot. A nuri, vrish me mochas, a koi bal baskage, colori carriage. Va i chogorst. Charomi a koshok is in mias, I guess Charomi a rui is in ta vias. Hami fate nishar in nish. Ha mo huanche kudremoch go. Chavimi a gihe bieg le kushuker, nu a gol joch wadje trik. Hami a smunyach of a smock a grot, I guess goroch. End of passage. Now re rewind to the start of the, the timestamp which you recorded for the start of the reading and listen to it three times through. Another two times. Now you're ready to see the answers. And here they are. They're all reasonably straightforward for this level. One thing to always be aware of, of course, is that what numbers at National 5 tend to be uh, qualified. So if you look at question 4 when it asks what he does with his wife, he runs more than Cor is J kilometer. So once you've corrected that, um, have a go. I hope you got it. Remember, listening is a little challenging. You're not expected to get everything, but you'll get through it reasonably well. Now, here is a reading passage for you to do. Read the passage and answer the questions. Um, you can pause it and um, when you're ready, the answers are on the next slide. And here are the answers. Fregerstein. Hopefully you've managed to get as many of them as possible. And to bring this uh, lesson to a close, if you're looking for any more body and health exercises to which go with this, look at the Caymanan books from Storwan and uh, Model Hoon, Un the Hoon, Ivoic. Um, plenty of practice in there for talking about illness and parts of the body. So to finish off, this is the question. Avelu ifas nashar ir Gaelic. Are you growing better at Gaelic? 
and we'll see how you get on in the next one. But thanks for listening, and remember to look at all the other videos as you go through it. Chidi and